visions and they were direct messages from God but for some of you for years now you have lost them the Lord wants to wash your eyes with eyes out there are some of you that you breathe in the past your breath was fasting you could go 21 days you could go 40 days you could go 72 days you could go 90 days you had appetite for fasting you had appetite for intercession but for years now you have lost that weapon you have lost that scepter the lord wants to activate burdens in your spirit again that the graces that you lost the dimensions that you lost the scepters that you lost they are about to be restored the Holy Ghost it's about to begin to minister to people the Holy Ghost is here now he's about to put his hand on people that moment of the spirit has come that moment has come ushers it's time to be sensitive eyes are beginning to open in the spirit eyes 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 that see ears that hear hearts that understand hearts that understand ears that hear in the hall on the internet eyes that see ears that hear hearts that understand can you go ahead and pray in the holy ghost pray in the holy ghost my emphasis this morning is not just to preach is to provoke activations is to provoke restoration is to provoke the release of the spirit go ahead and pray in the holy ghost go ahead and pray the moment is here pray in the holy ghost i didn't come this morning to preach i came to activate graces i came to provoke restoration the things you have lost the things you have lost some of it were for legitimate reasons but the lord comes to restore the lord comes to reactivate the lord comes to reactivate We have just, we have less than 50 minutes. We are going to pray now. I want us to pray violently for 30 minutes. I didn't come to preach. I just came to tell you that there will be restorations because you have lost a lot of things. There are weapons, there are mantles, there are graces, there are scepters that have been lost that God wants to restore. So lift your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Pray now like a desperate person. A person that doesn't want to walk out of here until something rests upon you. Until something rests upon you. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Better Gavata. Rakibata Kapone. Lagabata Gia. Pray in the spirit. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about who is on your side. Do business with the altar. Do business with the altar. Women receive their dead back to life. Warriors, keep us, intercessors, watch us. The seasons of God, the seasons of God are upon us. You will not back down. You will not let go until there is a change. 
Ekatalila Pakata Rakipano Sabakate and Dadale Mariga Pate Beleka Badanish Gadagava in Takabas Ragada Patekas Beleka Duba Palace As soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. As soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth her children. He said, Hannah was praying until her mouth was quivering. And Eli thought she was drunk. And Hannah said, I am not drunk. I am speaking to the Lord by reason of the multitude of my griefs. Can you travel? Can you travel? Can you travel? Wailing women, traveling women, roaring women at the Kavadash, but the Kopa the Kabado, but Karadi Talaga. Something must shift in my spirit. Something must shift at the Kasoda. Maka Zazali Lakapate Riada Dabosh Atokuba Lakada. There is an energy in prayer. There is a grace in prayer. There is a realm in prayer. Step into that realm. Step into that realm. Adiako Badiga Pakata Rakiba Badonda Lakodia Tataliga. Travel in the spirit. Some of you may need to drop things on the